Hey guys, so we know that Sam does not have a license because Jaguar have told us this, that he does not have a license. Even Logina Gold said it would be advantageous for Sam to learn to drive and to get a job. So we know he doesn't have a license. My question is, how did the tow truck and the car get to Shreveport the same day? Because as far as we know, Jaguar did not have a legal driver drive the car. So I'm thinking maybe she left Dallas in the wee hours of the morning and had Sam drive the car. If this is the case, then he was driving illegally, right? How can she, I'm, I'm wondering how can she put him at risk like that, if that's the case. So, the car and the tow truck is at the hotel, because she did not pack. She said that she was sitting in the car, and she was tired. Sam and the mother went upstairs to the hotel room and checked in, and she was so tired that she was trying to muster up enough strength because her back was hurting her. This is what she said on King Payne show. Because King Payne was laughing at her and saying, oh girl, you look tired. So the question is, how did the U-Haul truck and her car get to Shreveport at the same time? And she did not have another driver, another driver with license. The only people who arrived was her, the mother, and Sam. Or did she pay someone to drive the U-Haul truck? That's a possibility. But if that was the case, she would have videotaped it because she videotapes everything. So deductive reasoning tells me that she must have allowed Sam to drive the car and she drove the truck. And it was only her, her mother, and Sam. There was no other grown adult driving as far as I know. So we can deduce that Sam drove the car and Jaguar drove the truck. Maybe that's why she was delaying getting out of Dallas when she said she lost her pocketbook. Perhaps it was a delayed tactic to get her out of Dallas at, you know, later time when nobody was looking at what she was doing. I do believe when she got into Shreveport, it was the wee hours of the morning, so she must have left when it was dark in Dallas. Now, one of my subscribers asked me, what happened to the U-Haul? If the U-Haul is still in front of the hotel, or do I think the police told the U-Haul? Well, according to King World, the U-Haul was towed because there's a picture that he put out of the police sitting directly in front of the U-Haul in front of the hotel. And this is the picture that you guys are looking at of the police sitting in front of the U-Haul. And why would they be sitting in front of the U-Haul if they didn't tow it? But I'm going to tell you something. If they did tow it and they search it, they're going to find all kinds of drugs in there. Weed. I hope it's not fentanyl weed. <laughs> because if they find that fentanyl weed, they're going to be charging her with possession. So Jaguar is in trouble. So guys, remember she was saying she was going to put the things in storage? Well, she didn't get a chance to put the things in storage because that U-Haul was in front of that hotel. And a lot of people were saying, well, she don't have an apartment or a home to rent if she's going to put the things in storage. So we see the hotel in the background. We see the police car. And we see the U-Haul to the left. Now, I don't know where she rented the U-Haul. Maybe the U-Haul company there in Dallas. But let me tell you something. When they search that U-Haul, I hope it's clean because we saw Jaguar smoking that peace pipe the other day. You know, when she was in the car singing, she had that pipe on her. And I hope it's nothing but what is supposed to be in that pipe, nothing illegal. So, guys, I wanted to find out more about this NCIC charge that she was arrested on. I wanted to know what NCIC stands for, so I looked it up on Google.
So NCIC stands for National Crime Information Center. And it is the Computerized Index of Criminal Justice Information or Criminal Record History Information. Also, according to Google, the NCIC has operated under a shared management concept between the FBI and state and federal criminal justice users since its inception. So this particular agency is also under the FBI. So the NCIC Center helps the police. And how does this help the police? When criminals are on the run or somebody skips bail and they're on the run, you know, like Jaguar, she jumped from Dallas to Louisiana. They put her records in the database. This database is 24-7 in terms of the police having access. They can access it at any time to get a criminal picked up or someone who is on the run picked up like Jaguar. The police can enter the record and access the database, allowing criminal justice agencies to enter or search for information about stolen property, missing, or wanted persons. And also concerning domestic violence protection orders to get criminal histories and to access the National Sex Offender Registry. So all of those things come under this NCIC. So I know a lot of people have said that Jaguar have been taken in on a bench warrant. And I looked up, if you're taken in to custody on a bench warrant, what happens then? And it, Google, information from Google says you will remain in jail until a hearing is scheduled on a motion to lift the bench warrant. So Jaguar have to see a judge. She's going to remain in jail until she gets a court hearing. And depending on if they find anything in that vehicle, the charges can be compounded. Now, I don't know how quickly Jaguar is going to see the judge for a hearing, but according to what Google says concerning bench warrants, it says here that it could take weeks or even months depending on the location you're in and the circumstances that you were arrested for. And especially concerning any drugs, if she's got drugs in the U-Haul, then she can be stuck in jail for months before she gets a hearing to see a judge. So Jaguar is in deep trouble. She's in big trouble. So Google further went on to say not all bench warrants result in jail time and usually can resolve easily, however, if a person fails to respond. Like we know, Jaguar failed to respond. Not only did she not respond, she skipped the state and she ran to the next state, hoping that she wouldn't be found. And I don't know how she was hoping not to be found when she gets on live every day and the background is showing she's in front of various places like the veterans place. She's showing all kinds of background scenery, telling people where she is. So the authorities... Just put two and two together. They know exactly where she was because she would be advertising where she was. It wasn't very, very smart of Jaguar at all. But I guess she didn't take it seriously. Or maybe she just doesn't care. So I'm going to continue to read this. It says, if you fail to respond to a bench, bench warrant, it may result in further fines and ultimately imprisonment. So Jaguar is looking at fines or or Maybe both, maybe fines and imprisonment. It also say here that in most cases, bench warrants come with a bond amount, which is what you must pay in order to get out of jail. But I don't think Jaguar have anyone really to bail her out, except for Sam. And because she flee and she jumped from one state to the next, she wasn't supposed to leave the state of Dallas. She was supposed to stay there because she jumped states. She's considered now a flight risk, so I doubt if she can even get any type of bond. Even if it was possible, I don't think the judge would give it to her or allow her to bond out because she's a flight risk. And I guess Sam can get the money from one of the YouTubers 
and bail her out if the judge uh, give her that leeway. So a lot of people were saying with a bench warrant, there's no bond. But according to Google, it all depends. So I think in this case, it doesn't apply to Jaguar because she's a flight risk. And she did leave the state of Texas and went to Shreveport, Louisiana. So since Jaguar skipped bail, I was wondering what happens now that I think either Legina or Genesis revoked the bail. And Google says when a defendant skips bail, their full cash bail amount, if that is what they used, will be confiscated by the court. Well, we know it was only, what, 150 or so that Legina put up. So if she took that back, there's no property to be confiscated. There's nothing to be confiscated. So Jaguar will be sitting in jail. Now, if Jaguar had property, what a court would have done was file a claim against the property, which would have resulted in the property being foreclosed. But Jaguar don't have property, so we can... Uh, skip that and not expect any property to be foreclosed by the court. So according to Google, once a bail has been revoked, the defendant has lost all rights to be free while he or she waits for trial. So since Jaguar skipped the state of Texas and ran to Louisiana, I'm sure, or I'm kind of sure that the judge is going to have her sit in jail until her trial. So folks, this is looking more and more like if Jaguar is going to sit in jail and not get out of jail free car this time around. You know, she's used to going in and out of jail with no problem with ease because she always says my medication and then they would figure out she's a mental patient and she shouldn't be incarcerated she should be in a mental hospital but i think this time around she's not going to a mental hospital she's going to sit in jail because she bounced she ran she skipped state so as it stands right now with jaguar she lost the right to be free because she skipped out on her bond she did not check in she was supposed to check in she jumped states she fleed so she lost the rights to be free until a hearing. So now everyone is asking the question, what happened to the U-Haul truck that was sitting in front of the hotel? Was it towed by the police officers? According to King World, it was towed by the cops on the day that Jaguar was arrested to, uh, yesterday. And they are going to be combing through that tow truck for any type of weapons or drugs. So YouTubers, drop your comments. What do you think about this story? It is fast developing into a big mess. I am over and out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and to this video. Thank, Thank you for watching.